The founding village of the Seminole tribe is right here in the Tampa Bay area, but there is virtually nothing known about them until now. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane tonight has a very special look at the way historians are hoping to discover what life was like hundreds of years ago. Where Highway 50 meets US 98 in Brooksville is the only marker of what is known about the area 250 years ago. The Chatty village was the very beginning of the Seminole Nation. But what else is known about them is... Little of nothing. That's the problem. That's what we're trying to solve. That's where archaeology comes in. Historian David Latassi, along with archaeologists and the Seminole Tribe of Florida, are planning to begin a study of the area around Brooksville that used to be home to 1,200 Seminoles. We're hoping to find a real good footprint of what was actually there. The area has never been excavated. Right now, the only history known is from old British in U.S. war documents and maps, like this one from 1836, that marked the Chocachati village before the military burned it down. It's kind of a skewered view because we're only seeing one side of it. Even the first person buried in the Brooksville Cemetery was pioneer Charlotte Crum, killed by Seminoles at the end of the Second Seminole War in 1842, before they were driven to southern Florida or shipped away. That's actually Seminole pottery. Latassi says the study will take years to complete, but he hopes it will shed light on life of the Seminoles. It'd be great to see the Seminoles back there and have an interpretive center on what their village life was like. In Brooksville, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.